As Breast Cancer Awareness Month continues, we're looking forward to research happening here locally to make a difference. Yeah, perhaps the most significant research to watch is this breast cancer vaccine targeting triple negative breast cancer. The clinical trial started three years ago and senior health correspondent Monica Robbins updates us on where it stands right now. Can this vaccine prevent the most aggressive and deadliest type of breast cancer, triple negative? Since fall of 2021, 27 women enrolled in the vaccine study at Cleveland Clinic. Phase one showed a response and a dose. We do have this um, immune response that we can measure that we think will relate to the clinical outcome, the, you know, to what actually happens to a human being that matters to them. They're looking for more triple negative breast cancer patients who are getting treatment, including immunotherapy, and those who don't have cancer, but have the breast cancer gene, BRCA1 or 2, and are planning on prophylactic mastectomy. It will, all the patients would get the same dose. Uh, they'll be, still be studied for effects on the immune system, and uh, we'll start to get an idea whether the vaccine actually does what we hope it does, which is to reduce the risk of recurrence. So the current trial really can't answer that question. Anixa Biosciences is working with Cleveland Clinic planning the second phase of clinical trial that would evaluate the vaccine's effectiveness prior to surgery and in combination with chemotherapy and the immunotherapy drug Keytruda. This allows for a broader range of patients with multiple types of breast cancer to be involved. It's expected to start next year and last at least three years. Now, initial phase one data presented last year showed no safety concerns and the majority of patients showing an immune response. Additional data from the first phase will be presented next month at the Society for Immunotherapy of Cancer's annual meeting. Dr. Bud says he couldn't say what those results are just yet, but did allude to that the continued research is very promising, but we are still very, very many years away from actually knowing if it works. So talk to us about the people that they are looking for. You're saying a lot of people who get that BRCA and recognize they have that BRCA gene, there's a panic there. Sure. What do you say yeah. they can do um, in this you know, arena. Those are the folks they're looking for. They're looking for the folks who are planning on getting that prophylactic mastectomy. They, they still want them to go through that plan that they were making, but they want to give them the vaccine to prevent the cancer just in case if hopefully it works. But that's the, in the clinical trial. That's who they're looking for as well. Okay. All right. Good to know. Monica Robbins. Thank you. Thank sure. you.